What's up, everybody? I'm Ivor Abbott. We're here on Forza Horizon 4. If you've noticed, the G920 with the mint green and neochrome wheel has made its way back to the channel. I am still using my Fanatec pedals, but we're going to get going sideways. Let's go. Like I said, we do have the G920 back out here. We are on Forza Horizon 4. We are still using the Fanatec V3 pedals and the Fanatec handbrake, but we are on the G920 with the shifter and everything. But unfortunately, I don't have second gear because with the way I have, oh boy, the, my shifter and everything set up, my second gear kind of hits and fourth gear kind of hits with my hand. So something we're gonna have to adjust for future episodes, bring the G920 back and figure out what best way to bring the G920 back then to uh, come here to Fortune Island in a 240 and see what we can do. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all the fun in the description box below. We're going to take this 180 240SX on the mountain. Hopefully we can drift in third gear because it's kind of the gear we're stuck in at the moment. Here we go. Oh boy. Definitely much different than a set of Corsa and different than my Fanatec, but we will get the feels back. Oh, oh far lock. Definitely gonna take a minute to get back into the swing of things with this. There we go. It also doesn't help that it's raining, but you know what? For the first time back here on Horizon 4 with the G920. Not terrible. Not too, too bad. And the fact that we are stuck in third gear. Oh, got to oscillate there. Going to need a little bit of warm-up runs here to get this perfect. But... I think we got this. Left foot break, left clutch kick. There we go. So, if you guys been a part of the channel for a long time, you guys know the G920 and Horizon is kind of where my channel started, and I kind of wanted to bring it back to where it all started back on the Forza Horizon franchise with the G920, and that's what we're here today. And apparently, I need to get back to the horizon kick because well my drifting is not anywhere near up to par we're somewhat getting it but it's uh, definitely uh, far from the best if you guys want to keep seeing Forza Horizon 4 or Forza 7 on the channel with the G920, let me know down in the comment section down below. Let's take a look at maybe if my settings are a little bit weird. We're going to go check. Nope, not that. We're going to go check settings. Controller settings. Wheel. Advanced. I think we're just going to reset them to default. We're going to go full default on the wheel settings and see where that throws us kind of want more force feedback though so we're gonna go full force feedback but we're gonna leave everything else the same and see how that runs on the downhill fortunately like i said we are missing second gear is where the shifter is placed That man's running like a hill climb car. Oh, we can't go to fourth either. We are doomed to third gear, and you can definitely see drifting on Horizon 4 is nothing like a set of Corsa. But we back here on it. Definitely gonna be doing some more videos with the G920. If I can get the Fanatec to work correctly. 
Oh, we will bring the Fanatec back here as well and do some comparisons, but the Fanatec doesn't seem to work right. The force feedback is a little bit weird for me, and if I could use my Fanatec shifter, I would. It's just not hooked up into a USB port. It's hooked into the wheel, so we can't use uh, the Fanatec shifter. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any shifting issues. And... Um... We got ourselves unstuck. And we are kind of back on the road. We may switch up cars before we go back up the uphill. Definitely so different from being on a set of course for so long. Horizon feels very, uh, very arcadey, to say the least. So let's switch up cars and see if maybe we can get a better car up for going uphill. We have something with a different amount of power. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I wanted to go to cars. My cars. Let's see what we got. We have plenty of freaking cars here in our stacked lineup. But I do love my M4. From what I remember, this is one of my better drift cars. And then, of course, we have the Torque Drift E46. So we're going to bring out the M4. I feel like the M4 is one of my better cars that I've tuned here in Horizon 4. But I feel like we're going to be screwed with gearing. I feel like this thing has to go into fourth gear. We have to put our hand in a little bit different position. So we don't hit that shifter. Oh man. It has definitely been a minute and this is gonna take some time getting used to. That is for sure. We should maybe throw in some Assetta Corsa on our cars with the G920 and see how we fare with some of our cars in a set of course because Horizon is uh, Turn around. definitely so. a different monster. So let me know down below if you guys want to see me take on a set of Corsa drifting with the G920 in either some of the Sly Boys cars or my cars, which I will be releasing very, very shortly, some of the missile cars. I'm trying to not hit the shifter, that's my biggest problem right now. Like that are drifting in automatic. You definitely say, can I still drift in Horizon 4? Not that well. definitely going to want to give a set of Corsa a try because this is something else. I feel like a set of Corsa I can set all my shifting to sequential and have the rubber band set up so I don't have to worry about hitting my hand on the shifter. Oh, I forgot. We were not in the drift zone. That car was not a ghost. So I think we're going to give this one more downhill shot. Before we end this episode off, I wish my Fantex shifter worked because then I wouldn't have any issues with hitting my hand on the shifter. So we're going to give it a one more go. Going in fourth. If I could do this one handed, I'm much better off. Uh, wrong way. Reverse 360 for style points. 
All the clutch kicks are not working for me right now. Definitely not in my element with this wheel anymore. Oh, geez. And we're gonna have, wrong shifter. But we're gonna have to do some serious practice to get this back to where I used to be in Horizon 4. I guess the rain is definitely not helping either. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which you found in the description box below. And like I said, let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see with the G920. Instead of course, some more Horizon, some Forza 7 and stuff like that might be busted back out of the Forza 7 game. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. A little bit better. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Oh, man. This is rough.